What is up, YouTube? Don't forget, we have the 21 Fat Tire giveaway. All you have to do to win this 21 Fat Tire kit installed by us, go to fbombaggers.com, go to the shopping store, pick out any apparel, hats, whatever, any one entry will get you any one item, gets you one entry. If you buy two items or more, you're gonna get two entries per item. So you're gonna get double your entries. Uh, we're gonna give the live giveaway January 1st. We'll go on YouTube, go live, and then we will get your bike up here, get you done, and get you out here too, so you can see the unveil all right stay tuned for this video uh what is up youtube we're doing another video here something i figured i'd, I'd help you guys out with because i deal with it and i'm sure everyone else does too so what i'm talking about here is the issue you run into when you have an enclosed trailer whether it be you're hauling your car your motorcycle equipment anything you uh that you want to have secure you run into the issue of worrying about what could be wrong on the inside if you drive like an asshole like I do you know you don't want to have any mishaps I found this on Amazon and I've had it now for I think probably a good three four months maybe five months it was a real simple install so I'm gonna whip it over here and show you what I'm talking about probably not enough lighting in here but is that dude right there so that is a camera and I'll go into the truck side and show you here in a couple minutes of what we got going on but it was 150 bucks probably I don't know 160 something ship this is only the only thing it comes with on the trailer side there's no hard wires that have to go into the outside run over to your trailer hook your tongue and then plug into your truck which i looked into that before and it was garbage i didn't want to have to have an extra line this has one single line right there you can see it back there it's 12 volt and all i did was it's a power negative i just tapped into it i don't even know that's not it that's from the trailer light but somewhere back oh, actually back here we just we just ran it up here and then tapped into it it's got its source for power right there and you can see right on the background the antenna is right here that's the hard line right here and then you know you got your rubber seal so you can throw it on the outside which it has a double outlet i'm gonna do that here shortly i'm gonna get one for the rear just to show you on the other side no this is older trailers trailers 2017 these lights right here and all i did was actually tap into the interior switch right here and that way i leave these on when it's cruising because you want it lit up in here and then actually in the rear the rear light i ran then another one to a big spotlight outside which i can turn this on when we back up so that way you know you get you can see something on a side note if you have an enclosed trailer this is the milwaukee pack whatever they call it the i forget the name of the pack out there you go this is your bluetooth radio it takes the battery right in the side right there i didn't realize they have a battery in here that's good to know but this thing beats like a mofo and it works out great no point in having a hard wire everything right here it's got the quick release on it when you go to take it off just like all the hard pack stuff does pull up on it you pull that little lock right there pull up and it comes right out i'm not gonna do it with one hand because it's kind of heavy but just to give you a heads up if you're looking for a stereo system in the your enclosed trailer that would be the one to roll and i should also stay here when i'm flipping back over here but just to show you this will actually have there's the light reinstalled right there that's bright as hell but i'm actually going to throw another one up there too so then i have rear access when i'm backing up with the same thing i'll jump in the truck now and for all the shit talkers over there if you have a motorcycle you shouldn't have an enclosed blah 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 you know we hear it all the time on this channel one i pick up other i pick up customers motorcycles so they're not mine so i have to transport them that's how we do it two if you own a tra if you own a trailer and you go to daytona you go to you know wherever sturges and it's a far cruise some guys can't some guys backs can't handle going that far one if it's daytona especially out in the north we can't we can't drive in the snow what the hell you want us to do so i've come to the realization that most of the i'm running out of breath um most of the ones that hate are the ones that can't afford and are jealous of others so that's what you see a lot of on youtube and the mindset is kind of sad in my opinion but that's what you have to deal with and a lot of the guys that do that are usually broke in their parents you know broke in their mom's basement i guarantee you if you gave them an enclosed if you gave them one of these big wheel baggers or anything they would jump at the opportunity to take it but like i said it's just the mindset they deal with back to this camera system right here i actually wanted to get out of this, the shop because it was facing the sun so i'm going to do a little cruising video while we drive but as you can see right here it's just this is a ram so it's got the it kind of worked out good it's got the cigarette lighter port right on the top 
got excess cable, um, suction cup right on the back, and then there is your screen right there. All it does is it's it's the Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi, but I don't know what they call it, uh, gigahertz or something, 5G, 2 point something G. And I just realized I gotta get fuel, damn it. I fired it on right there. You can see, I don't know how well it's gonna show up because it is sunny out still. But this gives you a live display of what's going on in there. And you actually have the option to add then another camera. It has two ports on it, so you can add another one on the rear or anywhere technically, so you can see what's going on. So if you had an RV or anything like this, I know there was a lot of them out there. There's a lot of bad reviews. This one is actually good, and I, I wanted to use it for a few months and and see how how it performed before I made a post and told you guys to go get it. I'm gonna show you the link here. Okay, I didn't hear I pulled over, I'm getting fuel, so I got a second. But just to show you, you've got your live view right here. You I don't know if it's gonna get the, the motion blur or whatever that's called with the lines that's from shutter but it's great because you get the live view and the one thing i'm always worried about especially with the more expensive bikes is what the hell is going on the inside and now i literally can see this going on right here you hit a nasty bump you look back you get cut off you look back and you can get your live view and if your straps feel loose your bike's wiggling you're all good to go so the link to that right here throw it on uh okay right here hopefully you can zoom in um nope i might have to snapshot it but let me try zooming in the camera so i actually put i purchased this in april is it focusing probably not so maybe i'll, I'll 4k it in it is the lee koo lu yeah that's a funny name l-e-e-k-o-o-l-u-u -U. rv backup camera wireless hd 1080 seven inch recorder dvd monitor so split screens there right there of two cameras that you can see i don't know if they actually show it on here or not but custom view backup camera and whatever you get the idea apparent that i've i've been using this for a while now sorry i gotta take it out of the gas pump when i just got shocked so besides a few times the only issues i could probably count on one hand having where it just goes to no signal it'll just randomly lose signal i have no idea why and then two three minutes later not even or if, if quicker it pops back on and you got your signal again so I can say, like I said, it's been a dozen times it's, it's happened and I'll deal with it because every guy I talk to, every customer, buddy, car guys, race car guys, blah, blah, blah. I show them that and they, they love it. So it works out and it's a, for 150 bucks, it's well worth the deal. And I figured it's been long enough now where I could drop a video and give you guys a heads up. And that way, if you have the enclosed trailer for whatever you're hauling, get this one, it works out good. And you know, like I said, I haven't added the second camera, but I will. All right, what is up, fellas? We are back with another updated video of this video, and that would be after you saw the other couple past videos, I ripped Jack off. I ripped my Jack. I bet my Jack from uh, losing it and not being hooked up with the air ride on this bike, and you can see now I'm backing it up, and we've got a new Jack on there, and I wanted to do a couple, uh, wanted to get a couple weeks in of uh, actually having this, make sure it was all good, and you know, not, tell you guys to go get it but for the price i can't argue i did the harbor freight electric jack i'm going to show you what i did so if you look i go too far on this guy i went a little too far but so if you look there's an actual you got your plug right here for your regular trailer and then i didn't hardwire it into the wiring harness somehow i gotta figure out how to do that when i get time and it's warmer but what i did is just run uh, i went and bought a plug from the RV store over here, and then it's just a power and a negative. And this thing would be look a little better if it was daylight, but let me zoom out. This guy uh, now has a light on the bottom too, which is, it actually lights up the whole joint. It's for 150 bucks. Just zip tied it right here, put heat shrink on it. it. Was a positive and negative. I forget which wires you got going there, but it's just a positive and negative on the trailer plug itself. It's a uh, like I said, for 150 bucks, it's not bad so far, no issues. It is a little slow though, so that's the one downfall. Compared to the stock one that uh, Harbor, or compared to the regular manual one that Harbor Freight comes with, this 
um, snout or shaft, whatever you want to call it, is actually a lot longer. So I used to have to use the wood right here for the other one, but this one's got that little extension on the bottom and it goes up pretty high. But you can see this is a 3,500 pound one. Yeah, 10,000 pound one, I think. But it took about five minutes to bolt it on and about five minutes to wire it up. And then, you know, it's locked and good to go. And we'll see how it does through the winter time and if it holds up that way. But yeah, you just do that and unplug it. Just let it dangle this way. And that's it. And she's ready to rock. And I can get in my truck and lower it down more if I wanted to. Either way, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and drop a comment. All right, peace.